Now, the world's most popular social media site today celebrates its 10th birthday. Yes, Facebook is turning 10. Mark Zuckerberg launched the Facebook, as it was known, from his dorm room at Harvard University on February 4th, 2004. Originally, the site was designed just to connect students, but now it connects people all over the world to the tune of 1.2 billion users. It's extraordinary. Like it or not, we can't deny the impact Facebook has had on the world and will most likely continue to have. Danielle Damasi joins us now. Good morning, Danielle. Good morning. Facebook really did change the world, didn't it? Hugely. It was the first time that we found uh, ourselves sharing online and getting more and more comfortable with it. Now, we all know that, that the stuff that people are putting on Facebook, you're like, really, should you be putting on there? So it's very obvious that we've come quite comfortable with sharing on there. Did you ever imagine when you saw it in its early days, and it had precursors, things mm -hmm. like Friendstar and things like MySpace, yep. that it would ever become something that was so ubiquitous? Um, look, we all know that uh, as human beings we like to be where everyone else is. We want to belong, we want to be do what everyone else is kind of doing. So in a sense it was, first of all, ease, everyone else is doing it. You know, you want to be a part of, you know, keeping up with the Joneses. Oh, she's doing this on Facebook. Did you see this on Facebook? No, I didn't. So you jump on Facebook and you don't want to lose it. The biggest thing that we have seen is this whole fear of missing out that's been created. Um, and also this, this whole ego that we've created online, which is something that we didn't necessarily see happening. 10 years ago. For instance, people will sit outside a, a nice, you know, first class business lounge or something at an airport and check in, but they're sitting outside the door. So we're creating this ego. We hear these really? stories all the time, all the time. Um, you know, so we're even creating egos that we feel like we're missing out on ourselves. And it's creating this whole really interesting shift in psychology as well. Danielle, we've seen a number of people now go towards yes. Instagram and yep. Twitter. Do you think Facebook will still be around in 10 years? Well, Facebook bought Instagram and for that very reason because um, video and photos are so powerful there and they were doing it so well. They did try, I'm sure people remember, you know, taking photos with their Facebook but it really died out. So they paid one billion dollars for Instagram and it's very nicely uh, integrated. Twitter is about, you know, they're launching, they're doing their own thing. Very, very different. Um, but as far as Facebook and celebrating their birthday and, and hopefully celebrating their 20 years, we will see huge changes. Now, you're a futurist, you're yes. a lecturer, yes. you are fascinated with how technology changes the world, but you're mostly focused on how technology changes us yes. as people. What has been the effect that Facebook has had on our brains and how we interact with the world? Yeah, great. So, and, and this, this is a contentious issue sometimes. When, whenever we talk about... Um, uh, you know, the addiction that can be created, and we've talked about mm. this on the show previously, the addiction that social media has. Um, and this isn't a conversation that, oh, TV, here's another segment on TV where we're saying social media is addictive because shows like us on Wake Up love social media. We want to integrate it, but we have this thing like, oh, what's happening? Like, oh, I need to post something. We, we, our brains change in the way that we want to say, that will be a nice status update. Or quick, I've got to take this photo while we're sitting with friends. And this is how much it's changing. I've got to tweet this, I've got to be a part of this, like, or else you're irrelevant. If you're watching a TV show a day after, you're done. Like, you're not a part of the conversation. So that's how it's really changing us to be so Amazing. reactive. Right. Yeah, and, and our news on there. The thing that I don't understand, though, is um, people posting on their timelines to say, hey, what's the news about XYZ? I'm like, go Google it. Like, why do you want sort of secondhand news? But this is how we want it. We want news from our community. We want to be a part of it, and that's it. And so Facebook is changing that tribe. So we go there. We have to be there. We want to be there. And everything that we need is there. Ten years' time, do you think it'll still be around? Yeah, like, okay. I will be celebrating. I'll be back in my, like, <laughs> Facebook blues again. And, um, oh, is that what you've done yeah, here? Facebook like, blues? Yeah, okay. celebrating Facebook. And, um, yeah. Well, I like. Yes, yes. I like too. Good work, Danielle. <laughs>